Ms Cherry Nutt, Mr Joe Tizard claiming five, two Easy Buck, Andrew Thornton, three Cabrit, Richard Dunwoody, four Glamot, Russ Garrity, number five Cypher Malta, Tony McCoy, six Golden Spinner, Mick Fitzgerald, seven is Fraser Island, uh, Richard Guest, eight with impunity, Timmy Murphy, number nine is Lyndon's Lotto, Brian Harding, Ten, Orswell Lad, Mr. Robert Widger, claiming seven. Eleven is Martel Boy, Norman Williamson. Twelve, Indian Arrow, Chris Maud. Take out number 13, Valiant Warrior, a non-runner. Fourteen over the deal, Mr. Chris Bonner, and uh, he is actually three pound overweight. He rides at ten stone. Fifteen is High Altitude, Lorcan Wire. Sixteen, Nicholas Plant, Scott Taylor, claiming three. 17, Back Bar, Conor O'Dwyer. 18 is Griffin's Bar, Warren Marston. 19, Greenhill Raffles, Martin Foster. 20, Bally Line, Brendan Powell. 21 is Bendor Mark, Robbie Supple. 22, River Unshin, Paul Carberry. And 23, Flapjack Lad, Carl Llewellyn. So 22 runners. The non-runner is Valiant Warrior in this John Hughes Trophy, the first race over the national fences for 1998. And here's the betting. The baby in the party, Cypher Malta, only a five-year-old, 72 favourite for McCoy, Johnson and Pipe. Indian Arrow also from Pipes at five to one. Martel Boy, he's 11, but you could fancy him. He'll stay in jump, six to one. Fraser Island at nines. 14's Glamot and with impunity and all's well lad. Cherry Nut is 20, the same price, Easy Buck and Linden's Lotto. It's 25 to one, Golden Spinner. Mick Fitzgerald's on that one. 33 to one, high altitude, Nicholas Plant. Uh, back bar, Griffin's bar, Bally line, Flapjack lad, then 40 over the deal, 50 is Bend or Mark, River Unction the same price, and nobody wants to know Green Hills Raffles, he's 100 to 1. And they're away and the John Hughes are charged towards the first now, the leader is Golden Spinner, up there too is over the deal in the early stages, Green Hill Raffles, the outsider is also very prominent as they head towards the first now, Golden Spinner takes off in the lead, all got over the first okay, and charging now towards the second, it's Green Hill Raffles who's up on the outside, challenging Golden Spinner for the lead, Lyndon's Lotto is there as well, and over the deal just behind them as they head over the second and Bendor Mark is a faller there, Bendor Mark has gone and Griffin's Bar is also a casualty at the second. Racing now towards the chair and Bally Line Cabrit joined Linden's Lotto in the lead with Golden Spinner just behind them from Easy Buck, then Nicholas Plant as they head over the chair there, Linden's Lotto went through the top of it but they're all over the chair now as they race towards the water, it's Bally Line who shows the way here from Cabrit up there as well as Easy back and behind them Nicholas Plant then uh, Cypher Malta who jumped up on the outside and the inside from Golden Spinner Indian Arrow Linden's Lotto's dropped back a few places followed next in the field there by Back Bar on the inside back in the field is River Unction at this stage from With Impunity Green Hill Raffles they're followed back in the field by Fraser Island then Glamot who's well back in company with Cherry Nut out by the Martel Boy from over the deal well back in the field Flapjack Lad and they're followed by high altitude and Oswell Boy is last in the field as they race towards the Melling Road and it's Easy Buck up there with Cabrit and also Bally Line Cypher Malta as they head now towards the fifth fence we join John Hanmer and with impunity has joined them in the centre of the course as well Bally Line on the inside with impunity in the centre then Cabrit, Easy Buck, Nicholas Plant then River Unchen and Lamotte and Lyndon Lotto as they come to fence number six. And with impunity and Bally Line took it together, a mistake by Indian Arrow, who's lost ground and coming to the open ditch, fence number seven, Bally Line on the rails with with impunity, then comes Cabrit, and they're streaming over that. And there's a faller there, which looks like uh, Nicholas Plant. Nicholas Plant, the faller, and it's Bally Line disputing it with it. With, with impunity, who makes a mistake as we join Tony O'Hare. And racing down now towards fence number nine, with impunity disputing the lead with Bally Line on the inside. Right up there, too, is Cabrit. And they're being followed by Martel Boy creeping closer on the outside. Just in behind the leading group towards the uh, centre of the track is uh, Golden Spinner. And uh, 
over that one. We've uh, lost a couple at that uh, down uh, River Anchon as a faller and also out of the race at that fence as they uh, head down towards Beecher's fence with Glemot as they come Greenhill raffles as they come to jump Beecher's at Valley Line, the leader, Martel Boy on the outside. Up there too is with impunity and they're followed by Cypher Malta moving up towards the leaders. Cabrit is just behind them. Easy Buck has been pulled up but at the Foynaven fence the leader is Bally Lyme from with impunity. Martel Boy, Cypher Malta jumps up into third. A gap then to Fraser Island and Cabrit. They're being followed by Glemot and then comes back bar and behind back bar is uh, Cherry Nut and after Cherry Nut is Indian Arrow, Flapjack Lad and Golden Spinner. They're a long way clear of Orswell Lad as they jump the canal turn. High altitude has been pulled up far back in the field and racing now away from the canal turn and on towards Valentine's Brook. Bally Line is the leader from with impunity. Cypher Malta in third. They're followed in fourth by Martel Boy. Then comes Fraser Island. Cabrita is next. Then Glemot a mistake. Indian Arrow is next. Then back bar and uh, Cherry Nut over the deal pulled up as we join John Hammer. And they've got five to jump. Bally Line and with impunity are the two leaders. Cypher Malta is just in behind them. A mistake by Martel Boy who made one earlier too. Then Fraser Island who's followed by Cabrit as they come to the last open ditch, four out, and with impunity and Bally Line dispute the lead from Cypher Malta, then Martel Boy and Fraser Island, a mistake by Cherry Nut who's chasing them, going to the third last, and with impunity is just the leader from Bally Line, then Cypher Malta, Clinton's Lotto's been pulled up, and a mistake by Fraser Island in fifth place, and they've got two to jump as they go across the Melling Road, and with impunity, just the leader from Bally Line, Martel Boy, Cypher Malta, a gap to Fraser Island, then Cabrit, as they go towards the second last and over to Jim McGrath. Well, it's with impunity on the right, uh, with Bally Line, they're battling it out. Cypher Malta in behind is still going OK, and yet with a few shots to fire, I'd say. They're followed then by Martel Boy, and they've kicked right away as they round the turn now with two fences left to jump. And on the inside, it's with impunity. The outside is Bally Line, just in behind them. Cypher Malta with a white cap. They're clear then of Martel Boy battling on, followed uh, further back then by Flapjack Lad as they come towards the second last Bally Line. Now a clear leader comes to it, jumps it well. Cypher Malta jumping up there in a second. With impunity on the inside is third. They're clear of Fraser Island. Further back is Flapjack Lad, followed by Cabrit and Martel Boy. Golden Spin has been pulled up. They come towards the last. With impunity joined now by Cypher Malta. And on the outside, Bally Line. It's Cypher Malta in the centre who's raced into the lead. With impunity on the inside, battling on, followed by Bally Line. They race towards the elbow. It's Cypher Malta now who's powering clear, Cypher Malta goes 4 or 5 in front and is careering away, in second is Belly Line, followed by with impunity Fraser Island, but in the run up to the line, it's Cypher Malta this 5 year old owned by David Johnson, trained by Martin Pipe has spread eagle the field, Cypher Malta wins the John Hughes in a canter by about 10 or 12 lengths second is Belly Line, third then is with impunity, followed by Fraser Island, fourth then Cabrit, Flapjack Lad, then uh, Orswell Lad from Martel Boy, back bar behind them from Glamot, and they are the only finishers in the John Hughes. The winner is number five, Cypher Malta, owned by David Johnson, trained by Martin Pipe, ridden by Tony McCoy. Second, number 20, Belly Line, owned by the 49 Partnership, trained by Tom Kemp, ridden by Brendan Powell. And third, number eight, with impunity, owned by GZ Mizzle, trained by Paul Nichols and ridden by Timmy Murphy. Fourth, number seven, Fraser Island, owned by Dr. B. Alexander, trained by Richard Rowe and ridden by Richard Guest. Race over the national fences for 1998. Let's check the SPs. First number five, Cypher Malta at seven to two in favourite. Second 20, Bally Line at 20 to one. Third number eight with impunity, 14 to one. And fourth number seven, Fraser Island.